Our, our domain was how can we leverage open to transform teaching and learning. And our more specific task was how can we reimagine learning as a process using OER to integrate the arts and all of the arts, culinary arts, textile arts, 3D things. Um, it was inspired by Andrea. Thank you, Andrea, from KQED. And from Allison. Thank you, Allison, an art teacher from Montana who wanted to bring, be able to expand the reach of the arts. Allie, Allie where are you? Yay! Yes! We hope you like it. We want to bring the arts to everyone and bring everyone into the arts. The point of entry, and we, and we separated our task and our presentation is in three parts. The point of entry, the experience, and the results, which will feed back, would feed back into the point of entry and constantly evolve. Um, the point of entry is flexible and multimodal and engages all the senses. The device, that portal, could be any number of things. It could be a classroom, it could be a pair of goggles, it could be a special chair, an iPad, a kiosk, uh, a, a conductive twister pad. <laughs> oh, conductive oh, putty. Oh, conductive putty, absolutely. And the experience begins at that point of, uh, that point of entry with Allison or her students making selections, making decisions, or the teacher might, uh, the instructor might make those decisions, or it could be teamwork or collaborative, or you could hit the button that says, automatically take me there. And that becomes the interface to the experience. And what we wanted to do with the experience is make it entirely learner-centered, so that a learner could go in, whether they're a teacher or a student, whoever they are, and experience everything in totality and have the opportunity to select from a number of options, whatever it is that they wanted to learn, whether that's biology, art, uh, other sciences, music, and be able to, to, to get deeper into those subjects that they wanted to, maybe learn about photosynthesis, or uh, see the process, touch plants, feel everything, uh, and understand the experience that way. But we didn't want to leave the learner stranded at any point because a learner might go in and say, hey, I know a lot about this subject, I'm okay on my own. Or a learner could go in and be like, I need a little bit more help, I need some guidance with that. So we wanted to include a facilitator or a guide to accompany them on this exploratory journey and help to pull all of those pieces together. So if they're looking at art at one part of the day and bio biology at another part of the day, um, we can have a facilitator bring all of those things together and say like, hey, this is the art in nature that, that you can see and that you can possibly create. And at the end of it, these are the competencies that you can represent for yourself and get some feedback and um, hopefully push that forward with the, with the output. And when you get to the output, you get the result. And in this case, the result, whether you're a learner or a, uh, an educator, is a artifact. For example, we have a 3D printer where you can actually post up a schematic of a device that you've made and print it out yourself. It's also a scanner. So if you see something of interest in the external world, you scan it in and you post it up and share it with the community. If you actually pr print out a device that you've made like a, a musical instrument, you make that music and post up that musical composition. You can actually uh, make sure that you actually have an output. It brings you out of the digital realm and then you have something to show for it. But at the same time, you use this as a launch point. You take a picture. You make an artifact with your own hands. You share it, and this also becomes the entry point. So it comes full circle. You have an entry point, you have the content, and you have the result. And this is all one co comprehensive ecosystem that allows you to share all of this, whether they're educational resources, music, art, with the entire community. And again, it's called Ali, the, uh, after Allison, thank you, the All Learners Interface. Thank you. <laughs>